Today we are gonna learn a really fun paradiddle diddle chop. So let's get started. Hey everyone, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com. Today we are learning a super fun chop based on the rudiment paradiddle diddle. So there are two things you need to know about this chop right off the bat. One, we are playing it uh, in 30 second notes. So we're gonna be playing it in the 50 to 85 beats per minute range. The second thing you have to know is what the rudiment paradiddle diddle actually is. So let's take a second to just go over that real quick and learn a little bit more about this rudiment and then we can move on and turn it into a chop. So a paradiddle diddle is just the simple sticking pattern of right, left, right, right, left, left. And what we really wanna do is work with our dynamics on this. So those first two notes, the right, left, we want those to be nice and prominent and then the right, right, left, left, the diddles, we want those to be ghost notes. Now let's hear what that rudiment sounds like played in 16th notes. Once you feel really comfortable with that paradiddle diddle rudiment, then we can start to explore this chop a little bit more and disguise it a little bit more. So what I've done is I've kind of buried this rudiment in the middle of my chop. So I've added some notes before and some notes after. So let's go over the notes that I added before. The first four notes that I play before the paradiddle diddle is a right, left, left kick. And what I try to do is I really try to accentuate that first note by hitting a nice accent on that one with my right hand and then I also add a kick. And then those two, uh, the two notes on the left hand, the diddles, I play those as ghost notes. And then I just add a kick. So now let's hear what those notes sound like all by themselves. Now we can add in our paradiddle diddle right after those first four notes. So we've got a right, left, left kick, paradiddle diddle, and then we're just adding two notes at the end. It's just gonna be right, left. And on that right, I'm gonna add a kick drum. Now let's hear what that pattern sounds like all by itself. Now that's gonna be our pattern for this whole chop. We play it two full times and then a half of a time at the very end. So the end part is going to end halfway through your paradiddle diddle. So it's gonna be right, left, right, right. And then your left hand's just gonna hit that crash right on the one. So 
we have got right, left, left, kick, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, and then repeated, and then right, left, left, kick, right, left, right, right, and then you crash into one. I know it sounds like there's just a bunch of notes spurted out right now, but let me play it for you at a few different tempos, and I think you might get the hang of it. Check it out. So you may have noticed that I've been moving this chop around the kit. So let's talk a little bit about orchestration. A few key things to remember are that anytime I'm playing any diddles or paradiddle diddles, I'm staying right on the snare drum. And the first note of the chop, you're really going to accent whatever you're already playing. So if you're playing the ride, you're going to give it a nice crash or the hi-hat, you know, just a nice sturdy accent. Then from there, we keep our diddles and our paradiddles on our snare drum. And then the last right of this chop, I play on the rack tom. And then what I start doing is on the first right of the next time through the chop, I'm playing it right here on the floor tom. And then I just repeat that. So then the diddles are on the snare drum. Next time through, the next right is on the rack tom. And then the next right is on the floor tom. And then you finish up your paradiddle and then you're done with the chop. I highly encourage you guys to take this pattern and mix it up, play it all around the drum kit in a million different ways. There are so many cool ways you can move this pattern around the kit. Don't just stick to mine. So let me show you a few examples of just ways that I thought of mixing it up and adding little things here and there around the kit. Check it out. Make sure you check out drumbeatsonline.com for some of my best drum lessons that you cannot find here on YouTube. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on these lessons. And make sure you let me know what you want to see next in the comment section below. I love talking with you guys down there. So thanks so much for watching this lesson, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.